In the field, QAQC is critical to the success of any manhole rehabilitation project. In this video, we will show you the key elements of manhole rehab including surface preparation, coating liner application, application thickness verification of a coating, and post-cure coating inspection. Proper surface preparation of the substrate is the first step in a successful manhole rehabilitation. The use of high pressure water or abrasives remove damaged and corroded concrete, dirt, and contaminants from the substrate. It is important to maintain a consistent distance from the substrate, all to achieve a uniform profile of the surface. A concrete surface profile, sometimes referred to as a CSP of between 3 and 6, as defined by the International Concrete Repair Institute, is recommended by most manufacturers. The use of ICRI comparators against the prepared surface can ensure the proper level of surface preparation has been achieved. A surface profile of 3 resembles 60 grit sandpaper, while a profile of 6 exposes the aggregate and the substrate. Surface areas with spalls, areas of extreme concrete loss due to corrosion and deep bug holes, should be repaired using a high early strength cementitious mortar prior to coating. If the entirety of the structure has been resurfaced, a secondary pressure washing should be performed to remove any loose mortar and latent. An application of a penetrating primer may be applied to reduce moisture vapor transmission. The structure is now ready to receive the coating application. The spray application of the coating should be performed in a smooth, even motion and in a crosshatch pattern to ensure even coverage and to prevent runs or sags in the coating. A wet film thickness gauge is used to measure the depth of the coating as it is being applied. To properly measure the thickness of the coating, locate the tab that matches the required thickness. Carefully place the gauge until it is in full contact with the coated surface. Remove the gauge in the same manner. This is the wet film thickness known as mills. The gauge shows 127. We spray it again to meet our required mill thickness. This time we are just under 250 and as you can see, we coated to our goal of 250 mils. It is important to remember that 100% of solid solvent-free coatings cured dried film thickness is equal to the wet film thickness as measured by the gauge. During warm weather, outgassing can be a concern. To control outgassing, it is best to perform the coating when the temperature is falling and the structure is out of direct sunlight. A pinhole reducing penetrating primer can also be used to help minimize the presence of pinholes or holidays in the coating. Prior to post application inspection, ensure the coating has reached a hard and tack free surface. Consult the coating manufacturer's product data sheets for cure times before proceeding to holiday or adhesion testing. Inspection for holidays or pinholes can be done both visually and with the aid of a high voltage holiday tester. Holiday testing is performed in accordance with ASTM D4787 with a holiday tester like this. Tinker and Razor uses high voltage current to connect with the reinforcing steel in the structure when a pinhole or holiday is detected. An audible sound and visual spark alert the operator to the presence of a pinhole or an area where the coating may be too thin. The holiday tester voltage is set to 100 times the thickness of the coating. To test the coating thickness 125 mils, the holiday tester will be set to 12,500 volts. During holiday testing, any pinhole or thin area of the coating should be marked for repair. Pinholes should be repaired by grinding or sanding through the coating and applying a compatible coating material into the pinhole. It is not recommended to perform holiday testing again after pinholes have been repaired. To verify the coating is bonded to the substrate, perform pull-off adhesion testing using the following ASTM D7234 standard. 
To perform pull-off adhesion, you will need the following. Dollies, sandpaper, approved adhesive glue, solvent, duct tape, diamond hole drill bit, tester, like this Deflesco ATA automatic digital adhesion tester. The dolly should be new and clean prior to attaching to the coated surface. Using 80 grit sandpaper, rough up the surface of both the dolly and the coated surface. Clean the coated surface and dolly with solvent. To attach the dolly to the coating, mix a small amount of adhesive and place the dolly on the abraded and cleaned coating surface. Using a couple of strips of duct tape, secure the dolly to the manhole wall and allow the adhesive to dry. Refer to the adhesive manufacturer's product information for drying time. When the glue is dried, remove the duct tape. Using a diamond tip hole saw, score the coating until just reaching the substrate. Care should be taken to prevent the drill bit from breaking the dolly free of the coating. Place the puller over the dolly and hold it in place. This may require a second person to operate the unit and record the reading. The tester will apply pulling pressure to the dolly, breaking it free from the substrate. When the dolly and coating have broken free of the substrate, record the pressure reading and remove the dolly. Examine the amount of substrate attached to the dolly. A reading of 200 to 500 PSI with 85% attached substrate or greater than 500 PSI is acceptable or as directed by the engineer and project specification. To make repairs after adhesion pull-off testing, abrade an area approximately 6 inches in all directions. Mix a small amount of coating and apply, taking care to extend the coating across the abraded area. Following these QAQC procedure during and after manhole rehabilitation can ensure quality application and renewal of your assets. We would like to thank Raven Certified Applicator Kraft Reynolds of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma for the hospitality and participation in the making of this video presentation.